Hi. Well, this week I went visiting a customer and he had all his tomatoes growing in his greenhouse using a wing culture method and not the old new method using the halos but using pots and a tray of gravel. So I thought well I'm going to copy and I'm going to see the difference and see if we get a good result using the wing culture method. So greenhouse crops, especially tomatoes, are liable to soil borne pest and disease and wing culture where the bottomless pots are rested on a bag of aggregate or gravel prevents disease and allows the roots to a large moist material. So wing culture is bottomless containers sat on a bed of gravel and this can be done in a greenhouse, in a trench with some polythene with some holes in and some gravel over the top and then your pots sat on top of the gravel. So items we need is a tall flower bucket, a saucer or tray, some scissors, some shears, some perlite or gravel or some kind of aggregate, some compost for the bucket and then one tomato plant. So this method we can grow tomatoes, aubergines, chilies, peppers, even chrysanthemums this way. And in the base we can use gravel or perlite, something similar to that. And we put them together. So let's have a go. So I've cut a hole in the bottom of this pot. And I've drilled a couple of holes around the outside and then the roots will come out the bottom and touch the gravel on the top. So we need a tomato and I've got a very leggy tomato. So the first thing I'm going to do, clean up my tray and I'm going to add a bed of perlite. You can use grit or some kind of aggregate, gravel, it will do the same thing. And then this will keep in the moisture in the bottom of the tray. And then we add our tray onto the top, sit it nicely firmly right on the pot and then we can add our compost. So we're going to bury this tomato really deep as it's quite leggy and it's well outgrown the pot. I'm going to remove the lower shoots as we can grow lots of roots from the stem and I might even move this one too. Okay so it's going to go nice and deep in the pot. And then we're going to fill up our pot. We've got compost and perlite together.
There we go. So there we got a tray with our perlite and our tomato plant. Give it a drop of water. Now any water that's going to run down going to run straight on the tray in the bottom. And it's going to keep it all nice and damp and moist. There we go. So I've got one more to do. And these are going to go and sit into the greenhouse. So I'm looking forward to watching these grow and using this method and it looks really neat and tidy and the customer I visited had all these in nice terracotta pots and a nice old traditional greenhouse and it looked really really neat and when I also visited he also gave me this tomato and I've forgotten what it actually is and it began with an S but I can't remember what it is. So I'm sorry, but I'm looking forward to growing it anyway. It's looking good. So let me know in the comments. Have you grown your tomatoes in the ring rock culture method? Have you used a bed of gravel or bed of perlite? Or do you grow yours any other way? Do you use the new way of using them with the ringos? I've got a video of using the ringos in a grow bag and my tomatoes all in the Ringo's in the polytunnel. Let me know, how do you grow yours? And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe, ring that bell, get notifications when I post some more. And I keep you updated about this method of growing tomatoes. But the smell of tomatoes in this tunnel is lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers.